Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today I have a fill-in style grocery haul to share with you. I went to Trader Joe's and I also went to the grocery outlet, which is a lot like Aldi. So stay tuned and I will share everything with you. The Family Fudge, The Family Fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Okay guys, so today I did not end up going to Costco at all. We were supposed to be at Disneyland this week and then headed to Utah, but our plans changed, which means my meal plan has also changed. I decided to go to just Trader Joe's and the grocery outlet this time because I hadn't been to the grocery outlet in a long time. And what I like about the grocery outlet is they have a lot of little things that you can try. You never know what they're going to have. It's different every time. It's a good price and you don't have to buy in bulk. And you guys, on this shopping trip, I spent less than $200, so that's pretty good. However, this doesn't really constitute an entire meal plan for the week. Some of the things we stocked up on because we found good deals, and we already have a lot of meat in the freezer, and we still have fruits and vegetables from our last haul. So I'll go ahead and get started. So I'll go ahead and show you the things from Trader Joe's first, and then I'll move my way over here. Starting back here, I picked up a six pack of the kettle corn. This is the light kettle corn, so it has less sugar and less salt, and you can have an entire bag for just 120 calories. So that's a really good, healthier snack option for me. I also got some of these guys. Now these are new. I've never tried these before, and I'm not sure if we're gonna like them. These are the peanut snacks. So it's kind of like a little puffed, crunchy, snack, but peanut flavored, I'm guessing. These were 99 cents. I figured we could give them a try. I also just got a small bag of the cauliflower this time, and it's already cut up for me, so I can easily throw it into lunches. And then I also got something new to try. These are the sweet potato gnocchi with butter, with butter and sage sauce. So I'm pretty much the only one that likes <laughs> this kind of stuff, so hopefully it'll be good. Back over here, I picked up three of the sparkling waters. I love sparkling water. This is the grapefruit one. I also got a lime one and a pineapple one. Now for the kids, I did pick up some yogurt this time. This is the whole milk mango and cream and the peaches and cream. These are really good and good to throw into lunches as well. Over here, I have a box of Weetabix. If you've never tried Weetabix, they're really good. They're not super popular in the US, but I grew up eating them, so I think they're excellent. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a fan of Weetabix. I also got a box of Cheddar Rockets. My kids love these, and I'm starting to pick one of these up every time I go, because they're really good. Over here, I got a box of the Toasted Coconut Pancake Mix. I'm gonna be making these for a special breakfast for dinner one night this week. I also got the pink and white cookies. These are definitely gonna be going into lunches as well, just for a special fun treat. And then I also picked up this Chili Rellenos um, frozen meal. I tried this last time and it was really good. Really, really good. Over here I have some pears. I picked up two of these Bosch pears, which are the darker color, and two regular pears. My daughter Lily loves pears. And I also got some grapes. And this time I went for the three pack. We have purple grapes and green grapes. And these are supposed to be black grapes, although they look purple to me. I also got some colorful carrots. We have the regular orange, some little white ones, and purple ones as well. For my youngest child, I picked up some of these little fruit sauce pouches. This is the apple strawberry flavor. And he's pretty good with these now. They're not a total mess like they used to be. I also got some of these mango cereal bars and some crumpets. I'm a big fan of crumpets. These are the British style ones. However, I'm not sure how authentic they are. So if you know if these are really what crumpets are like in Great Britain, let me know. I like to toast these up, add a little bit of Kerrygold butter. They are so good. I also picked up three of these RX bars. These are really good and very simple. You can see all of the ingredients right here on the front, and that is all that's in them. So that is everything from Trader Joe's. Not a lot of stuff I know, but like I said, this is just a fill-in trip. So now on to the things from the grocery outlet. I'm gonna go ahead and start back here. I picked up quite a few boxes of the organic mac and cheese. This mac and cheese is really good. 
And when it's $1.99 a box, I definitely stock up. So I got a bunch of those. I also got two cartons of blackberries, a big bag of frozen organic strawberries. These are really good in smoothies. And I also got a big bag of the frozen organic mango. The weather is starting to be warmer here and some fruit smoothies sound delicious. Next to that, I picked up a bag of the grass-fed beef burgers. Um, these are only $4.99 for, for four patties, so that's gonna be enough for one dinner for my entire family, so that's going on the menu plan. My husband picked up a package of the turkey sausage that are in the patties, and then the turkey sausage that are in the links. These are really good if you wanna make some make-ahead breakfast sandwiches for the freezer. I highly recommend those. And both of these are really convenient because they're already cooked. So really quick in the morning. Moving back over here, I picked up several different kinds of deli meat for lunches this week. Normally I buy this at Costco, but I just wasn't gonna go to Costco this week. So we got some roast beef, some pastrami, which the kids have never tried before, so we'll see if they like it. And I also got some of the turkey. Over here I have some strawberry cream cheese and three of these Chobani yogurts. These are the, let's see, cherry vanilla blended variety. I just like them because they were pink and they were like, I don't know, 50 cents each, so it's a really good price. I also got one regular whole milk vanilla yogurt. And then these guys, I've seen these before, never bought them, but I thought the kids would like to try them, hopefully. These are the dark chocolate chia pod cups. So I guess it tastes like chocolate pudding, but it's like a healthier version. There's just a little bit of sugar in there. And uh, yeah, hopefully they'll like those, we will find out. Moving back over here, I picked up some of the gluten-free tortillas. And you'll notice a lot of gluten-free things on the table today. And that's because my husband is actually um, gluten-free. Nobody else in the family is yet, but yeah, he definitely is. So it's nice to pick up these things from the grocery outlet because they're a better price there. I also got a little block of the Colby Jack cheese. Some of these pea crisps, we really like those. And then I got these little cheese breads. And this is in the garlic cheese flavor. Next to those, I picked up lots of the little Easter cupcake liners with the pick. So I got this one, I got a blue one, and I also got this really fun little yellow one with a chick. And I love that the picks come with it. So you can probably tell these are going into some special school lunches. Now over here, I picked up three of the gluten-free bean and rice burritos, and these are the Amy's brand. And I have to tell you guys, every time I see something with the Amy's brand, I smile because I totally know Amy pretty well. So I'll go ahead and tell you the story really quick. So Amy's parents started this company long ago because they wanted some healthier options that were ready-made in the store. So Amy is actually about my age. And when I was having my son Griffin, she was actually my midwife in training. So she's a very sweet lady. I've met her, she's very nice. So yes, I always smile when I see her products. Anyway, moving over here, I picked up a bag of the baby carrots. Now we went to the grocery outlet first and I wasn't sure I was gonna make it to Trader Joe's, so I did get carrots there as well. But the baby ones are really convenient because I don't have to peel them and chop them and all of that. Okay guys, just a few more things. My husband picked up four of these breakfast bowls. We normally get these when we are going out of town and we were actually going to go out of town this weekend to Disneyland, but we postponed it. But I was happy to find these at the grocery outlet because they were a dollar cheaper than at Walmart. So we have the chorizo benedict, we have the chicken chilaquillas, and the Southwest vegetarian. So these are great to have in the hotel room. It's a gluten-free option that he can have to heat up quickly in the morning. And then back over here, I finally got myself a new set of scissors. All of my scissors have been disappearing recently, and I was gonna buy some at the dollar store, but I thought for $4.99, these might be a little bit better. So we shall see. Definitely need to hide these. Over here I have two things that might be really gross, but we're gonna give them a try anyway. These are the culture gut punches. And so basically these are probiotic drinks. Now normally these come in really gross flavors like dill pickle and sauerkraut, but these ones are mango and cola. So hopefully they'll be good. Sort of like kombucha, but different. 
back behind those, I got a big bag of the gluten-free whole grain pancake and baking mix. This whole thing was $11.99, which is a pretty good price for the size. This is a mixture of almond meal, there's no added sugar, so yeah, definitely some gluten-free pancakes in the future for us. Now lastly, I picked up these guys. These looked really interesting. I've never seen these before, but these are kids protein packs. This is in the chocolate flavor, and it comes in basically like a little squeezy pouch, and the squeezy pouch just has powder. So you add your own water, and you shake it up, and it basically makes a protein shake that's portable for the kids. So this could definitely come in handy when we're traveling and we need a quick protein-filled snack for the kids. Okay friends, that is everything in my fill-in style grocery haul today. Like I said, we already have a lot of meat in the freezer and we stocked up on fruits and veggies last time we went to the store. So that is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.